seemed like yesterday Went to the Lord I guess uh, I think we're all together. Uh, I believe that we're all together. And I'd like to say good morning. And my co-host is here, John Baker. Good, good morning. morning. Good morning, Doc. How you doing, man? Thanks uh, for having me. Yes, sir. Uh, Brother Baker, we have we have we have your artist. You're the producer of uh, of your artist on with us right now. Talk to us. Share with us. Bring them in. Man, I got uh, my artist James Chappelle III uh, from Hartford, Connecticut. And then I have his drummer, MD, and producer, Mr. Levi Baker, who is my biological brother. But that's also my business partner as well. Good morning, guys. Hey, good morning. How's everything, y'all? Oh, we doing great, man. Hey, thank you for coming on here with us. And sharing your 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 insight, your music, uh, to the listeners at KROV ninety one. Just KROV. Oh, KROV. Uh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. See, that was old school. Oh, that was old school. Was Got old you, school. man. Now this is new school. You know, we're internet, but yet we're reaching around the globe, and so we're thankful and we give God the praise, and we're thankful for. Those of you that are tuned in, and I'm not, you know, I'm I'm just I'm just here today. <laughs> I'm just here today, but I'm going to leave this up to John to be able to uh, share. And because uh, we have artist James Chappelle, and he is somebody's singer. I heard his video, and he's doing a tremendous job in the gospel industry. So, other John, yes, sir. So, James, uh, let us know, let, let the listeners know 
uh, a little bit about yourself and uh, what inspired you to do what you're doing now. Well, man, I like, let's see, I am uh, got some music at heart. Uh, I'm a father of three kids, got two boys and a girl. Um, grew up in a family of singers. Uh, my mother and uh, her sister sang, and my father had a group when I was growing up. Um, they used to say, um, so I was always around my music from the beginning. Um, I think, to be honest, I really decided that I wanted to be a singer when I was around four years old. Uh, there's a man who's still my favorite singer today, which is Al Green. He's probably my biggest influence as a kid. Um, and that kind of influenced me to really want to be a singer. You know, just not just the vocal, but the whole stage presence really know how to convey a message with the music, you know. So that was probably my early inspiration. And as I got older, you know, I'm old school at heart, so Sam Cook, the Williams Brothers, you know, all the old school guys really kind of like helped me cultivate what I do today. So, um, you know, that's kind of how I started. Man, that's a, that's a blessing right there. Um, yes, sir. Man, and I want to bring in Mr. Levi Baker. Uh, Levi, tell us a little bit about yourself, man, and how did how did you and James come together, and those collaborations that made those singles that grateful in God's love. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, John, uh, I met James on a tour with Jimmy that you kind of connected us on, which was created the worship 2018. So we've been collaborating since 2018. Um, we were, I was a music director for that tour and James was an artist on the tour and we connected and vibed. And I, I think because of the musical chemistry that we had from day one, um, it provided an outlet for us to collaborate after the tour and John you connected James and I and we sat down and we talked about it and now it's come to fruition and so James James talked about some ideas some songs that he had and wanted to step out and do a couple of things singles EP and so of course we had the band he had the vocals and the magic just happened Yep. Man, that's 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 awesome, man. And um, James and Levi, uh, with that collaboration, the world now is is getting to hear uh, those things uh, all over the world. And we really appreciate you all sharing your gift that God has given you all to bless His people. Mm. So, James. Um, do you have anything coming up soon? Any new, any new songs, EP, uh, singles? Let us know what's going Man, on. Man, we're working on, we're working on one right now. I ain't giving it away. I'm <laughs> 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 uh, working on one right now. And it's, it's in the oven. It'll be ready in a little bit. Um, but it's going, it's really going to bless y'all. We really, we really, uh, we really hope and pray that it's going to bless y'all. Um, and like um, our brother Levi said, it's, it's hard to find people. There's someone everywhere that has chemistry with that talent for the long way. And if somebody who speaks your language, understands where you're going, you know, knows what you want, and knows how to give it to you, those are hard things to find. Um, they give you that original sound that really is not, that's really something that's unique. Uh, that's hard to find. So. Uh, we know that this new, this new thing that's getting ready to come out, um, it's going to show that. Um, it shows how we work, shows what we do. You know, it kind of shows you where we're coming from um, and how everything perfectly mixes together. And uh, that's what's so unique and exciting about how we work together. But, yeah, we got a single coming out, and we're still working, y'all. We're still working on getting that EP together. So don't, don't, don't worry, we're working. But, um, yeah, I'm excited about the new single that's going to be heading for sure. Yeah, Brother 
James, Brother James, I, you know, I was just sitting up here and when I first heard your music, uh, I thought about Lee Williams and, yeah. and, you know, and I kind of like just pitched you. Now, Lee Williams, when he sings, you can feel what he's singing. Yeah. But then when I saw your video, not only did I just hear you singing a good song, but you put your whole body, everything into it. And you made the people feel like, hey, 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 I feel it too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I feel like if I'm trying to tell you about something that's real and that's life-changing, you ain't going to believe it if I just look like, you know, if I'm just talking about it, but that there's no expression. If something literally is a life-changing situation or there's a life change going on, and I'm conveying that, I got to show you what's my life. I got to show you that it's real. I got to show you that it's just not talk. This is something that is actually real. It's got to be real. That's all. If it's not real, you won't be. Now, you, you, not real, you won't be. now, one of the things that I, you know, I shared when I moved back to San Antonio, and I tried to share share with uh, when I gave little concerts, uh, uh, I shared with them. Don't don't put on. Let it be. Right. Come on. And, you know, and in order for, because what's on the inside of you is going to come on the outside of you. So if you let him work on the inside, like I see you doing, okay, that's what's going to change the lifestyle of the listening ear. Absolutely. Absolutely. I totally agree with that. Um, it's hard to think about somebody you don't know. Mm. Do you know Jesus? Yeah, that's it. That's it. You don't just know because I'm up here asking. Do you know him when the microphone is on? Mm -hmm. Do you know him when the church door is locked? Uh-oh. So, we ain't going there right now. Yes, sir. So, I got, I got a question for uh, uh, Levi. Levi, can you tell us what's, what's the process from concept to completion? and how you put all that stuff together. I'm glad, I'm glad that you asked, but um, just prior to that, you know, I wanted to speak to Mr. Lockhart's question to James Chappelle about uh, feeling the music, and then that goes into the production as well. And I always say that, that uh, from the heart reaches the heart, and music is emotive. And so James sings with such emotion, such passion, that it just reaches the people, and it has to. He has to be able to do that as well in the singles or the EPs, because that might be the first opportunity or the only opportunity to be able to reach his audience. And so, when you start talking about um, the process from concept to completion, is we speak to the artist. We want to find out a little bit about what the artist loves, what is his or her passion. What is it that um, they love? What is it that um, makes them move, pick, breathe? And so we have a little process that we kind of run through just so that we get a chance to know the artist outside of music so that we can help to be able to drive uh, the, the music and to be able to push him or her to their best when it comes to the performance inside of the studio booth. Mm -hmm. so, that is the first step. The second step is we generally do it a little bit different. We don't we don't can music and then push it to the artist. We wrap our music around the artist, his or her specialty, and so we got it. We get a chance to kind of just map it out and we shape it and we frame it. And then what we do is we wrap that music around everything that they do. And so that we move and we breathe and we eat and we sleep and we get all of those things together. And so, and, and from that point, being now you're able to drive that artist to greatness. And James is a phenomenal individual to work with. I'm talking about easy. So when we did when we did God's Love, we came in and we sat down. And I think actually when we came to the studio, we were scheduled for three days. And I think we did we did five songs in a day and a half. And we sat down and we was like, what else is there to do? So uh, James came in, very professional, 
just do me a favor. Put it right here. Anybody know anything about God's love? Anybody know anything about God's love this morning? Yeah. I was down and out. Couldn't see my way. It took the love of Jesus to bring me to the light of day. That's why I'm grateful. That's why I sing the way that I sing. He turned my life around. Gave me a new beginning. Do I have a witness? Do I have a witness? Oh, do me one favor, I'll let you go. Stand up and call your feet. Stand up and call your feet. If you know anything about God's love, can you stand up on your feet? One more thing, let me hear you clap your hands. Let me hear you clap your hands. Did he save you? Anybody here been saved? 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 Yeah. Saved and sanctified. Saved and sanctified. But do I have any witnesses in the field that have been saved and sanctified? You know you've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. Uh, washed in the blood of the Lamb. Let me see you wave your hand. Yeah. Hey, hey. Let me see
K-R-O-V-F-M Radio. That was God's love by our guest today. Talking about James Chappelle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Keeping it real, keeping it live right here on K-R-O-V-F-M. And we're going back. Brother Baker, you got it. It's on me, Doc. It's on you. <laughs> so, so James, can you can you tell me where those songs came from, and what what inspired you to write the song? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, James? Yeah. Okay. It's far away, but I can make it out. Okay, I said, um, with the songs that you write, what's the motivation and the inspiration behind those songs? Um, I think each song is different. I, I look at it for myself, uh, my songs are like jokes, so they all have their own personality. You know, they all have their own, you know, uniqueness about them. A lot of my songs come from experience. I try not to write from my head. I try to write from my heart. Because if I write from my head, I can always come up with nice things to say. But if I write from my heart, that's what you feel. Um, I try to write from things that I've gone through, things that I've experienced, things that I see happening or want to happen. Um, I try to come from a real place. Because that's how you're going to connect with people, especially with everything going on in the world. People don't want lollipop songs. They want songs that they're going to be able to hold on to, um, something that's going to stay with them for, for a while, and they can always go back to that. They can they can help firm up their foundation, you know. Um, so that's kind of where my inspiration comes from, you know, my relationship with God, the things that he's done for me, and also the things that I've experienced, you know, in my life. God loves a perfect example of that. Everything in God's love is 100% true. I don't write fairy tale songs. If I write it, that means I've been through it, I've been in it, I've been around it somewhere along the line, you know what I mean? But God's love is definitely a true testament to that. Man, we really appreciate that. Um, for Levi, as a producer, what are some of the things that uh, you do to make that song the best song and radio ready. The first thing that I do um, when I approach the artist is to pray about the process. Not only pray about the process, but I ask God to bless you with the individuals to see the vision and for him to uh, help me to be creative in that process. And I always say that you can have all these phenomenal musicians, but it takes chemistry That's right. to make it happen. And so I pray about those individuals that God wants me to be a part of that project. That is the first and probably the biggest key. And then from there, I think the magic just happens. And you have to understand the musical balance. And I always say that every note that you play means something, should mean something. And so I want to play with dynamic individuals that features the vocalist. And so there's a, there's a flautist who plays this flute line that's so unique to James's voice. You want to be able to ebb and flow through that process. And so in that, you want the musical balance. There's times where we're at forte or the music is loud. But because James sometimes softens his voice, we got to be dynamically creative as well and be able to bring it down to a side six. So... When you listen to God's love, we come in on the side stick. As a drummer, that's 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 uh, pianissimo, or that's a softer tone there. And then as the music builds, or as James' vocals builds, you know, you'll see me come onto the snare, which lets you know that all right, so we're, we're building, we're building to the crescendo, and so that is the creative process. And then you sit down and you listen and you, you find.
find little things within the music in the studio that you can just build upon and to make it great. And so, for me, that is my full process. And you sit there and you continue to train your ears to listen and hear all these little nuances in the music that makes it great. And that's why I always say that the, the little bit, the small things in the music that makes it great. Yeah. Whether it be Kirk Franklin or Fred Hammond or Leandro Johnson or James Chappelle the third. Now I got a question. I got a question. Though. I got a question. I mean, you know, you, you keep saying the small things, but I kept hearing that high pitched voice. Was that Al Green? <laughs> I mean, that, I mean, that was I was up there like Al Green. You gotta feel that. <laughs> okay, okay. And that that's, that came from within. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You got but that is all about what Brother Levi was saying. They make it bring it to this point when everything mixes it together. Mm -hmm. It'll bring that out. It, it, it's just like it's something that moves deep inside and it brings all of that out. So you just you can't find no words and you just let that note out. <laughs> <laughs> just come on out and so good. <laughs> I, I hope one day I can feel that good. I can <laughs> I can even get up. That's it. We have a, we have a few more minutes. We have a few more minutes, but um, uh, before we leave the air, I like for you to give a shout out. Both of you have to give a shout out. Whoever wants to go first. James. Yes, sir. Give a shout out. All the people listening, all of our listeners, or yeah, yeah, any which way you want to take. Listen, everybody that is on here, let me just tell you from my heart to your heart, I sure appreciate your support. Keep listening to this wonderful radio station. Um, it's a lot you are a wonderful person. I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to be on here today to fellowship with all of your listeners. I'm humbled and I'm grateful. Y'all stay tuned with Dave for the third. We got a lot of things in the oven coming. That's really, really, really good. Really, God really bless you. So thank y'all so much. Mr. Lockhart, I want to thank you for the opportunity to be able to be on your radio, the interview, the opportunity. I want to thank John Baker for um, believing in us enough to be able to bring us on the show. I want to thank James Chappelle for being a phenomenal artist to be able to work with. There's a lot of times that, that although we produce songs, producers don't have an opportunity to be able to speak with uh, alongside the artist. So I, I thank James for being able to share the stage. But most importantly, I want to thank God for just continually blessing us that we connect and, and we build relationships. And so I want to continue to build a relationship with Mr. Lockhart, yeah, yeah. John Baker, James Chappelle, and also... Uh, the listening audience in San Antonio, we're looking forward to coming down and being able to uh, be in person so that we can meet and greet each one of y'all and so that we can have a stay along. So I'm looking forward to that opportunity. So thank you all so very much for this opportunity on a Sunday morning. That God gave us breath to be able to breathe on today because some people didn't make it. So I'm thankful. I'm grateful for this opportunity. <laughs> All aboard the rain, the gospel express. All aboard the rain, the gospel express. Keep your faith in Jesus. All aboard Jesus. Keep rain, the gospel express. Keep rain, the gospel express. Rain, the gospel express. Rain, the gospel We know we're blessed, walking in spirit, not flesh. Proclaim Jesus to all the nations, letting them know we're throwing down sound.